dignitaries on the days as most of the speakers will be speaking in konkani i will do justice to mr garg by expressing my few thoughts on this occasion in english <laughs> friends i feel very privileged to be associated with today's great function when we are releasing a book have released a book on the life and works of the great alfred rose who had been a dear friend for decades i commend the art and culture department for having facilitated the release of this great book in fact there is no doubt that if one department in the state of goa is functioning properly it is the art and culture department let us also remember on this auspicious occasion our late former deputy chief minister francis de souza who pursued this venture and this venture of releasing this book has been a reality today i have known alfred rose very closely and i recollect in the late 70s on one of my those adventures to bombay i landed up staying with alfred and rita who were so very hospitable alfred lived in mahim and i was their guest for a couple of days alfred rose was a gentleman on stage and off stage a very god fearing man in fact in mahim itself close to his residence he had the saint michael's church and just some meters away close to his shop i think it was on sitla devi road he had the saint mike uh, saint victoria's church very god fearing man spoke very bluntly and if we see the works of alfred rose the songs all his songs had a good theme his songs were quality songs his contribution to the kokni stage is unparalleled alfred hails from bardes from the village of aldona from where i am also a grandson and hailing from bardes and since bardes will be soon having a ravindra bhavan i'm sure the honorable mla will pursue the issue to make sure alfred rose gets a fitting place in that prestigious ravindra bhavan which will come very soon in mapsa friends people in all all professions have financially come up but it is painful that those engaged in art and culture whether it is the theater the natak or all sorts of art and culture are still financially deprived i'm sure that 
I am sure the department under the able leadership of the very dynamic art and culture minister will do something to uplift our brothers and sisters who are toiling in the field of art and culture and this field is very important because if the fundamentals of Goa have to remain intact our art and culture has to remain vibrant. My dear friends, posterity needs to be told and informed about great goans like Alfred Rose. I'm sure the department will do something to make the financial living of these brothers and sisters a bit better. I take this opportunity to also appeal to all our brothers and sisters who are engaged in this activity of promoting art and culture that you need to stay united. Alfred Rose through his songs through his writings and dramas, spoke about unity of Goans, that Goans have to remain united. We have, in recent years, been speaking of Goin, Goinkar and Goinkar Pond, but this was way back in the 60s and 70s, the idea that was mooted by the great Alfred Rose. I pay my tributes to my great friend, an outstanding and a very professional artist who along with his dear wife Rita has done Goa and Goans proud. Thank you. Thank you very good, sir.